Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I wanted to show you how I use the Elegant Themes, uh, premium WordPress themes, to make a fantastic website. Okay, so this is my website that I have made and it's um, wordpresswebsitehost.com and um, this is the standard theme. I haven't really touched it hardly at all. This is the front page and it comes up with this featured box and you can just flick through them if you like. Um, see how I can put different um, writing here if I want. See, click here to read. I've got it set to flash through by itself too. Um, see, yes, I want to save $100. Um, yeah, so you can really customise it. It's really great. Um, I'm really loving it. So anyway, you go down further down the page and I've got these ratings here. Um, they're articles that I've written and I've given ratings to and I'll show you how in a minute. Like this is pretty full on. Um, it involves no skill here, okay? It's just a matter of finding out where things are, like where to change these settings. Well, it's not even a setting, it's a sentence and um, where and how and that's it. So this is how it comes up already because this is the front page, okay? Now I put all these widgets in here and I will show you how to do that. Um, I also made the posts on the side here with the ratings and I also set the images up so they all come up um, wherever I want which was quite easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is take you into the control panel okay so um, there is no way that I can make this website without getting the elegant themes and um, I could definitely not make it look so professional like this. Uh, I usually use thesis um, but I definitely couldn't make something that just looks this great okay right so let's go into the back of the settings here and just say you're in the dashboard you click on appearance here and then go to the um, in review theme options here on the in the left sidebar okay so what you'll see is the e-panel and this e-panel comes with all of the elegant themes so it's a just a little thing that can help you out um, and save you from actually going into the code and changing settings. So the first thing that I did was I uploaded my own logo here which is fantastic. How easy is that? So there's my logo that I uploaded okay on the website. Now all I did was press on upload image I'm going to show you because people might get confused. Um, just like normal, I'm going to press select files and then I browsed for the file and pressed open. Okay, and um, all I did was copy the URL. So I'm going to just um, show you. So just pretend that I uploaded it. Here it is here. Okay, so I pressed on show and it shows it and all I did was get this. We, so make it blue, right click on it and copy it. Okay, so now you can close that and then I just pasted it in here. Okay, that's all you have to do is paste it in there. So you can get rid of that writing and paste your logo, logo in there. Then I went down the bottom and I pressed save. Okay, so that's all I did to change the logo. So that was done in about a minute. Okay, um, also let's go to the home page, this tab here. We're still in general settings, so. And um, I disabled the home page quote, which was pretty important because I didn't want it there. It was just some writing above um, all the teasers on the home page, and I didn't want that, so I just pressed on it and disabled it. That was the actual text there, so I took it out. Um, the next thing I did was tick which ones I um, wanted to, which categories I wanted to see in my menu. 
okay so if I untick something it'll take it away all right um, then then oh, let's go over to this one first um, it says the featured slider is enabled okay and um, what I did is I picked a category from where the posts would come um, basically I've got this video so you can have a look at my settings and I might miss something but you can actually see what I've got here alright so let's go to the navigation settings now I've taken off the about page and a couple of others and left just enough because I didn't want it to overflow okay so we'll go back um, basically I didn't change any of those so we'll go to the next one categories okay so I didn't do anything here either I'll we'll go to general settings and I didn't do anything here either but that's disabled right so we'll go to the layout now it's got uh, posts layout okay it's whether you show thumbnails and stuff like that page and general settings now I didn't actually touch these these are left as is um, ad management um, I did I'm not actually using that at the moment um, that's for um, putting in AdSense and stuff like that um, SEO I haven't even filled it in yet <laughs> so um, I will go along and do that and um, I'm sure I should because yeah it's not a good idea to leave it all blank so what you want to do is put your home page title description and keywords in um, whatever it uh, just fill in the blanks okay now what else we got here uh, okay so this is enabled this is header code body code and stuff like that now you can put um, Google Analytics in here it says it right here add your Google Analytics code right there so when you do add something go down the bottom and press save okay um, here's something you can like put an add in at the top of your posts or you can do whatever you want really you just try it out for yourself so add some code in there okay um, okay so this is a link to the manuals so if we click on support documents um, you get all the manuals and tutorials and stuff like that there so you can watch videos um, this is straight explanations right here okay um, how to put the author ratings how to set the featured slider stuff like that okay okay so now I'm going to take you into a post so I'm going to go to all posts and I'm going to go to something that is published so I can show you what I have done I'm also going to go to the website and let me see which one I've chosen it's don't pay for these five things right there it is there this is the one I'm going to go to so I'm going to click on it okay so what I've got here is this is actually a pr uh, place for a price so just say you're selling something then this um, this is a price and that would be the image for the product okay um, and it, see how I've got save money no gimmicks eye opener right and I've made them four and a half star and five star then we go down okay um, and we have the post and I've got a couple of links in here they're affiliate links and also this is an affiliate button okay that I actually got got to set up so this is how I did it so you've got the post and you do the normal thing you put your heading in and you put your stuff in there now you choose a category um, I chose a category that was going to go into my featured slider so I picked it there okay the next thing I did was find out the URL of this image so I clicked on it and right I just go to advanced 
here and go to source and copy this. So make sure you've got the .png or the .jpg or whatever you've got, okay, right to the end there. And I'll go out and just, I'm just going to show you how I added um, the thing. So what I've done is I've got um, a thumbnail and there's the URL there, but this is how I put it in. Um, it said enter new, okay, so I typed in thumb, you've got to type it in properly too, because see, that's, um, if I choose that one there, that's wrong because it hasn't got a capital, okay, it's very precise, it needs the, t the capital okay so it has to be spelt perfectly thumbnail right and then I paste the URL of the picture here so there we're done right and um, all I have to do is press on add custom field and it'll add it in but I've already got it there obviously um, I'm gonna press cancel right so I've already got it there and that's how I did that um, so that's gonna make everything look great now the other thing is that I went and filled in this saving money no gimmicks eye opener and I also chose how many stars I was going to give so let's lower this one a bit to four oh, I'll just say there okay um, so I just typed that in myself and made it up so if you were reviewing the hosting because I've got a section for that as well you would put price service and you know um, uptime you know what I mean like um, rate them like that okay so down here I put my affiliate URL okay and also the button text that I showed you okay so down the bottom here see why I use HostGator and the that's the button text and also it links to my affiliate link okay um, the next thing is this here where it says custom button text I put that in there now I'll show you where that is that's on the front page so in here it's a custom um, link for that which I didn't I wanted it to just go to the post but if I wanted it to go straight to an affiliate link I could put that in there okay so I'll just show you where this part is here it's on the front page so I've gone through this post here now this shows up automatically here okay if you set the image up I'll just go back see how it's meant to be price and I put no scam see that's that there okay so once you do this a couple of times it is so easy it's not funny and it just looks fantastic now anything that you rate is going to come up on this okay which I'll show you how I got that there too okay so radio we've done that I just want to show you that front page thing so I'll go to the front page and there's that button there that I changed see why you shouldn't pay okay that is the button that I have edited down here custom button button text see why you shouldn't pay see it looks a bit boring if everything comes up yes check out this review check out this review well it's not okay I can do whatever I want there um, okay now I'm gonna show you how I got this here okay so I'm gonna go back to the back of the website I'm gonna go to appearance in the sidebar here and then I'm going to go to widgets now widgets are the things that go in the sidebar okay alright now plugins are something different completely and I'll show you that in a minute right so I have the rating the ET top rated widgets okay now all I did was it's over here now all you have to do now I'll just show you the sidebar so they were probably closed up like that and I just went like that and opened it then I pulled this over and put it there okay so now I just have to fill it out it says number of products and the title of it and stuff like that now I'm gonna delete that 
that was just an example so here it is here and see how I've changed it top web hosting information for products and it's going to be based on author ratings or user ratings now I've chosen author ratings because I don't have any user ratings at the moment okay but doesn't matter it looks good alright the other things are just text widgets that I've made up myself so there might be a, an affiliate banner okay uh, what else have I got um, some links that I put in myself and then I just dragged um, the pages over just drag them over right uh, drag them back uh, I put the categories there and also this as well which is uh, they give you a ET elegant themes advertisement and all you have to do is put the banner link to the actual image and then the URL and it sets up it sets up these things for you all neatly so I could have more rows going down if I want to okay so that makes it pretty easy to make everything look good okay what else have I got um, that's pretty much it on what I did with this um, this theme here like I just filled in the blanks and um, this is what happened and I think it looks pretty good um, now the thing is I know this website's got potential already it showed me some earnings and um, that's why I'm investing a bit of time in fixing it up and making it look nice and um, this is about reviewing WordPress web hosting and Elegant Themes just happened to have this review website for me so I was pretty thrilled about that. Alright, thanks for watching.